Hey everybody, Teresa Sigman here. Thanks for joining me today. Now, what I want to share with you is we're gonna talk a little bit about floats. I just finished filming an, an extensive video, a training video for the Sew Like a Pro membership site, and I thought, you know what, why don't I at least give you a little tidbit of this? Because we all learn from really good visual representations. So, what I have is a dress in progress. It has, um, it had two fittings on the client so I can go in and finish it off. The skirt's been trimmed, it's ready to have the hem put in it. The neckline is all finished off in the front. It is ready to have rhinestones on it. And the back has, it's not, <laughs> it's not finished. It's mostly ready to be finished, but it's still flopping around in the wind. Now this dress is for a, um, a lady much taller than I am, so that's why it looks like the skirt's hitting on the floor because she's way up here, but at least this way we can look eye to eye. <laughs> I like looking eye to eye with my dress forms. And this particular inspiration dress was, if I remember correctly, she um, went to like a museum opening and there was a, a costume made out of chain metal that had these little points on it. So we decided to, or she decided to feminize those points a little bit by turning them into petal shapes. And let me tell you, these have been interesting to get. But when we rhinestone it, this gorgeous um, glitter organza, which is kind of the perfect amount of stiffness and softness, it has this real pretty floral, um, like swirl floral pattern. And we're gonna rhinestone orange, yellow, and reds all in here, really dense down at the bottom and then fade out as it goes up. So it'll be really pretty and the color will kind of fade with the rhinestoning. So I am at the stage now where I need to put floats on the dress. And whether you're having a dress custom made or maybe you bought a dress off the rack that you need to add floats to, or maybe you just don't like the floats that came on the dress and you wanna change them, or of course, if you are a Sew so Like a Pro fan, you make your dress from scratch, this video is for you because I'm gonna give you two quick, easy options that you can do to change out an existing float, or, oh, you can make interchangeable floats and even have them two colors, especially with a dress like this. When you are trimming your floats, you want to use measuring sticks. <laughs> And in the case of my Uniquely You dress form, I can very easily slide the measuring sticks into, let's slide, let's slide her into the middle. I can slide the measuring sticks into the middle. And I'll just give you a look at that. Surprisingly, I have never ripped the lining and all these, you know, the, the dress form cover. Now, when you are simulating dance position, you want to have one arm that's kind of level and one arm that's up higher because this is our up hand and this is our kind of straight across elbow. And so what I have here is I have two different shape mannequins or two different shape dress, no, <laughs> two different shape floats on here. And I want you to see the difference in how much taking off just a few inches or just a few centimeters makes. Now I have this, let me double check here, but I'm, if I'm eyeballing here, yes, I've got this at approximately this woman's arm length. So she's very tall and has very wide arms compared to me. And I want you to take a look at this, how much, this one is a much wider bulbous shaped float it has a lower swoop here in the middle. And then over here on this side, this has a much narrower swoop, say like from the elbow to the bottom of the, of the Georgette, is much lower on the right than on the left. And the point over here, I have a couple of options, which I might as well get your opinion on. What I'm toying around with, you'll notice that this piece is loose. Now I'm going to reshape this so that it looks more like the shape of these petals of the orange fabric. But what I'm toying around with is, do I leave this red? I think not, it's a little boring. Just all red. Go, there you go. 
or do I come in and replace these panels with some orange accents? Now, this is fun, right? I could put the, or I could leave them both. That's the awesome thing about floats is that there is no wrong way. It's all personal opinion. What, what do you like? What, what, what is your personal preference? I could do orange in front with no red. I could do red in front, orange in the back, and just have these little tenderly things that would whisk around on each side. So playing around with that is fun. If you want to vote and leave me a message below on what you think I should do, I would love to hear that because it's always nice to have a collaborative effort. Now the other awesome thing is, or the other difference in these two floats is that this one is a much more narrow pointed look and the other one was more rounded, which I think I got sidetracked with the colors. And then you'll notice that this side, the more narrow side, actually better mimics the petals on the front of the dress. So this is the side that I'm going to go with just because I think it does work better with the dress. And shortening this span here made a huge difference. When I had a lower swoop right here, it really didn't, it was so overwhelming. The distance here was so overwhelming for the length of the floats that it just, it really didn't work. But another fun thing for you to do, if this is your dress and you have a two color dress, you can have two different color floats. And I have done this quite a lot over the years. I am a big fan of sort of multi, using multicolor rhinestones, multicolored floats, because it does, it creates a nice little kind of impressionist look. So you could have one orange float, one red float on your dress. You could even, if you were super clever when you were making your dress or altering an existing one, you could come in and make these detachable so that you can reverse them from side to side. You could have one, let's see if I can get that unpinned. You can have one red float over here and maybe little multicolored tendrils hanging off from, these are just scraps of fabrics, just hanging off from the other arm, and then that way you would have a totally different look. You would have big on one side, little on the other side. And then if you had detachable floats, then you could come in and have a set of symmetrical ones. So floats really are a great economical way to completely change the look of your dress. If you have a blue dress, get a floral and use floral for your floats. Or get, um, you know, do, do like um, some, shoot, you could even do a fun polka dot. The nice thing about having chiffon floats, if you choose some way outlandish fabric and you only want to wear it for a showcase routine or something fun, you're really only out a few hours of your time and maybe $20 US. Thank you so much for joining me and my best friend here. And if you have received value from this video, please tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Don't forget to leave me a message below telling which float you like the best. And if you have not already signed up for the blog, please go to sewlikeapro.com. Leave me your name and email address and I'll make sure that you never miss one of my dancing, skating, sewing tips. Thanks a lot and I will talk to you again soon.